I believe it's crunch time for you, buddy, because your batteries are almost dead. But wait a minute, where are your batteries? <laughs> There's, they're not in here, they're all the way down here. If you, if you guys saw the video where I renovated this bad boy, the battery pack is in here, and there's a wire that goes all the way up to the top here, so I'm going to show you the process I used to get, to get the batteries changed, and plus I'm going to take the time to, um, to repaint the hands, because as you can see, some of them, some of the hands are, have the little specs on them, I forgot to paint them all the way, so, so I'll take care of that real quick. So now you guys will get a chance to see what it looks, what the battery pack looks like after a couple of weeks, so, I gave myself access to the interior of the of Ben so that I could have a chance to work on it, just for this very occasion. Like I said in my previous, in my last Big Ben video, I said that this was actually my piggy bank for a few years. However, I moved it to a, to a different area. Okay. I'm not sure what wire is positive and which one's negative, so... Huh, okay. So now I take off this electrical tape. The electrical tape is there so that it, so that these two wires, when they touch, they don't, um, they don't spark, um, and start a fire, so... And it's okay, my friend Ray and I made it so that these things could never touch and or start a fire. <laughs> and I'm so used to doing this, it's unbelievable. So, now that we have the little connection area exposed, now I'm going to unplug it by pulling out this piece here and all the faces will stop working so so it should be unplugged now okay so now all the all the clocks have stopped moving so basically what i do now is i take my black paint and i can paint the hands in the correct color because if you look um about right there okay let me zoom in so if you look about right there, you'll see that it looks like it's chipped a little bit. That's actually the real color of these hands. Um, fun fact about about it, it turns out that those hands used to be, um, they used to be silver. on right now so that I can so that I can figure out um, and so I have my computer on with the clock showing so that I can figure out what time it is and when to plug the batteries back in because I figured that if I were I figured that if I were to um, I figured if I were to start the clocks back up at noon then it would be then I'd say it would be a little easier and more accurate because it's on the hour and noon is the defining hour in my opinion. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes once once all the hands have been redone. <laughs> I 
actually found that the um, that the numbers on this side are farther apart than on the right than on than on the left side. If you take a look at them really closely, after I move my giant hands um, out of the way, you'll notice that that the letters, I mean the numbers, are a little farther apart on this side than they are on the than they are on the other. So I I think that was a drawing error that I a drawing error that I had when I was making this. So it's my fault that they're that close together. I'm sorry, but I can't fix it now. The only way to, to fix it would be to tear the mechanisms and the clocks out completely in order to to repair that. So I I think it represents that I'm close to the real thing, but I'm not but I'm not perfect. I mean no one is perfect, honestly. Not even me. I mean I may seem perfect, but I'm not. <laughs> also taking this time to tighten any of the little knobs or something that that's on the outside. So now I just need to do that for all, for all the other ones. Okay, so now that we have all the clocks positioned, um, for noon, now we do, um, so now what we need to do is we need to replace the batteries. So these are brand new batteries, and so now we just need to replace them. And, let me see, it's always so hard to get these out. Here, I have the right tool for it. I'll use a screwdriver. <laughs> that one jumped out. <laughs> clocks are positioned correctly. Now we just need to connect, or reconnect, my bad. Now we just need to reconnect the, the wire that, was, that I took, that I unplugged at the beginning. And so, let me see if I can turn it towards the camera. There we are. So now what we need to do is we need to reconnect the wire that I unplugged that connects the clocks to the batteries at precisely the right moment and see if I'm if I'm a second off then that then it'll throw this whole system out of out of whack so basically at 11 59 59 basically at the very second it hits the hour I need to reconnect all of the I need to reconnect the wire so that it tells the time accurately this is all done through practice and through personal experience. So let's see. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so now it's reconnected and all the clocks should be moving right about now. Let me check. Yep, all of the clocks are, are working again. Yep, every single one of them is moving. Of course, they are all a little bit off, but however, uh, that's just the nature of this. It doesn't, it's not perfect every time, but, but the good news is, is that the clocks are all working again, and they are all in synchronized, and they're all running in perfect unison. Okay, so, so I recovered the, um, the wire with, um, with, um, so I recovered the wire with the electrical tape to keep it from sparking and catching fire and burning down our house in the middle of the night. So now we just simply, yeah, okay. So now we just simply put, now we just simply place Big Ben's battery pack or his heart back into his, back into uh, the, the bottom of the model. And like stitches, I guess, we then, use tape that we removed earlier and then we just seal it all back up and the model's good to go for another 17 days. I wonder how long that'll be. Okay guys, so August 18th, the 2018 will be the next time that Big Ben has to have his batteries changed. And I'm sorry if this was boring to any of you guys. I mean, you guys have seem to like my Big Ben video, so I thought, why not I do another one? Um, 
So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you again for another Aaron from Aaron's Gaming 101 video. Bye everybody! Stay safe and stay awesome!